Mike Reeves with Saluki Hall of Famer, Mouse Garrett. Welcome, young man. Thank you. Congratulations. Mike. Thank you very much. I appreciate this that. This day is finally here, some 40 days after you play. 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> Not 40 days. Yeah. 40 years after you played. Did you think it would ever come? Well, I was beginning to think that uh, probably it was not. Uh, uh, as I had indicated earlier, uh, I, I just kind of thought that uh, my ear had kind of slipped through the cracks and time had passed by and just kind of a forgotten era. But uh, I'm very proud and very happy to be inducted in the Saluki Hall of Fame. Was it important that it happened for us? It, it was important in the fact that I you know, you have a tendency to look who previously had gone in in your field and whatnot, and, and, and sometimes, you know, you get to thinking, well, you know, maybe sometime uh, uh, I'll get a shot at that, and my, my time, uh, it was just, I guess the timing was right, and uh, uh, like I say, I'm, I'm very elated that it, it has happened. What are you most proud of in your career? Uh, I think probably I'm most proud of the fact that uh, I tried to give it my best effort every time I stepped on the court. Uh, I'm, I'm really proud of that. I, I uh, you know, as we talked, uh, you always have regrets and whatnot, but one thing I do not regret is it was never a lack of effort. I tried to give it my best shot, and, uh, and I'm proud of that. And I even in practice, uh, I worked hard and uh, I'm proud of that fact. You played alongside some of the great scorers in Saluki history. <clears throat> your former teammates, uh, your former coaches all say, had they kept assists then, you'd be among Southern's assists leader. Do you feel that way? I, I actually, I do. Uh, I've uh, uh, looked at some old sheets that after a game in the years past, they'd give you a sheet to assist, to total points, shots attempted, free throws attempted, whatnot. And uh, I, I, I think I would have probably been one of the all-time mm -hmm. leaders in that category. And, and, and especially playing with Greg, because <laughs> yeah. Greg put up some big numbers in a short period of time. And uh, I, I, I just, I, I don't, I, I really don't understand why they didn't keep the assist back <laughs> into you. I mean, I, I Somebody no, didn't I, want to, probably. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that, it was, that was strange, but. Uh, Anyway, I, yes, yes, I do. I think I would have been one of the uh, all-time leaders, but uh, that's the way it was. Tell us about the Mouse Garrett, Greg Sterick backcourt. Well, we were special in the fact that uh, uh, Greg was quite a scorer. Uh, I was a penetrating guard. I could, uh, I, I was very, I was blessed with a lot of quickness. And I could bring it up the court. I could get the offense set up and I could penetrate and kick it off and uh, Greg could score. He was a great scorer. And we, I think we were an exciting uh, duo. Uh, me being smaller and uh, quick, very quick, uh, just made for exciting uh, basketball, I felt. Mm -hmm. and, uh, what should we know about 1972 when you and Greg Sterick were battling for number one in the country in, in free throw percentage. And at one point you made 42 in a row, at one point he made 50 in a row. Some of that was simultaneous. Take us back to 72 in free throw shooting. Well, coming into that, uh, I, I think everybody realizes your uh, senior year, that's the, you know, you, you better make the most out of it. And uh, we had both kind of decided that, well, Greg had led the nation the year before, and. He was just a terrific free throw shooter, but I felt like I, I was really a, a, a good free throw shooter in high school. My senior year, I shot over 90% uh, from the line, and I knew I could do it, but w you have a tendency when you get on the college level, there's so many other factors involved that uh, I, I'd kind of lost sight of that my sophomore year, and I started to regain it my junior year, and then my senior year, I, thought, I felt like I want to give it my best shot, uh, and I put a lot of time in, as did Greg, and uh, it, it was just a kind of a competitive type situation, although it really, there was no animosity or anything like that, it was just a mm -hmm. real competitive kind of, a, a, you know, he, he, he shot so well, I shot well, and, and uh, it was just kind of a fun competition. Sure. Um, 
you're from a very small town, Patoka, but you had big time offers out of high school. Why Southern? Basically, I liked SIU for a couple different factors. Uh, one, it was close to home. My hometown people could see me play. My parents could see me play. My family could see me play. And I came down my junior year to, for a visit, and uh, the Salukis were playing uh, Wichita State. And at that time, Dick Garrett was playing, Chuck Benson, uh, Willie Griffin, Bruce Klitschko. Uh, the, it was a sold out arena or close to it, and the enthusiasm in there and the, the atmosphere was just electric, and that made such an impression on me. I mean, I, 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 I thought, man, that would be really neat to play here. And uh, I took several visits. Uh, I visited Alabama, wanted me really bad, and uh, the University of New Mexico. I took a trip out there. Uh, Bob King was the coach out there at that time, and he ended up at Indiana State. Mm -hmm. He would have had Bird, but he had a heart attack, and Hodge took over. But uh, I did have a lot of people that uh, yeah. offered, you know, scholarships. But I chose Southern. I had no regrets about it, and. Uh, and Jack Hartman was, he, he was a pretty pers persuasive guy. George Ubelt uh, did most of the recruiting, but I, it was just a good fit for me. Saluki so Hall of Famer, sounds good, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does, it's got a nice ring to it. <laughs> and uh, anytime I come back to SIU, I have uh, really fond memories and, and uh, it's, it's just, it's like coming back home. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Mike, I appreciate it. Saluki so Hall of Famer, Mouse Garrett.